Hello, today we will be drawing or making inferences, which is like conclusions, a bigger understanding of facts in informational texts. You know, informational texts are the ones that are fact-based. Let's get to it. Here we have a textbook. Does that mean that we look at a text closely, really, really closely. That's what the magnifying glass means. When you're drawing inferences, we will study the text closely. And when we can make the inference, the light bulb will go bright in our heads. We'll have a greater understanding. Everything will be brighter and clearer. Let's get to it. Here we have a graphic organizer. It says evidence and inference. So evidence is what is in the text. It means proof. So we look at details and then we use it to make the conclusion or the guess. Now let's use this graphic organizer to study a passage. Here we have an informational passage about Louise Blanchard Bethune. The first sentence that she's known as the first woman architect in America. That is important, that is impressive. She was born in New York in 1856, way back, way back. How cool is that? Let's look at the first evidence. Louise was the first woman architect in America. As the first sentence says, She's known as the first woman architect in America. To be a first anything is really impressive. To be a first woman architect in 18, for someone who was born in 1856, that is really, really cool. Louise opened up a firm at age 25. With her husband, she opened a firm at the age of 25. That is so young. Louise successfully designed many buildings. Designed many buildings and stores. It talks about Hotel Lafayette right here. It is a famous structure she designed. And she also designed 18 school buildings alone. Can you imagine? Think about your school building, how big that is. She designed 18 school buildings. That is a lot. What is an inference we can make based on these three evidences? The light bulb has gone off. I'm illuminated because the inference is Louise paved the way for women architects. She made it possible for other women architects to be successful and to feel like they can also do it because she was the first woman architect. She opened up a firm at age 25. And she designed many buildings successfully. And so she paved the way, which means she made it possible for other women architects too. Way to go, Louise. Now we know to look at evidences to make an inference based on the detail in the passage. The author wants you to put the details together to come to a bigger conclusion. Now let's do this in other passages we read later.